Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so this is uh, like a very short tip tutorial for getting your Z-depth passes in Nuke looking good. Uh, so I'm going to take this image that I have. It's a 4K image. I already went to the settings and changed pretty much all settings. Just press S to get into settings. Pick the full size format. In my case, it was Ultra HD uh, 3840 by 2160 and at 25 frames per second. So once you have the image, I can show you what the depth pass looks like. This was rendered in Mantra. So there you go. We can select the depth. And then over here, we can just check it out by reducing. I've forgotten what name this setting is. Pretty much when it comes from Mantra, you tend to not really see it unless you grade your channel. All right, cool. We're just going to use it direct from the, from the image. So press tab and go to the Z defocus filter. Then we have a focal point. Where you place this is where your focus is. So I'll just put it at the center for now, or I can actually put it at the edge so that we can really see what happens. So let me zoom in uh, 100% to that point. You can already see some kind of depth, but it looks a bit weird. That's because the math that we're using is wrong. The math for depth on Mantra anyway, and I think Arnold too, is depth. So use the depth setting. Then the depth channel for Mantra always is called depth Z. You might see other channels here, Z, red, green, blue. That tends to happen with Arnold, which can you can select. But for Mantra, it's con constantly Z. I don't know about other um, render engines. Uh, you can notice now the weird flickering disappeared. Now, how we're going to control the depth is this size setting is the amount of the depth. The maximum setting is like a feather between the, the size and the edge. So I tend to really go all the way up. That's kind of my style anyway. So if you turn it up, you'll see it's going to start affecting the edge based on where we have our focus point. Uh, the more we do it, the more depth we get and it looks really nice. I like it like that. And you can, oh, it's beautiful. You can change, once you change the focal point, it fills in the rest of the blanks. So the focus distance changes. You can see now the, fo the, the, back, the foreground, I don't know if it's the foreground in this case, is blurred out. The background is quite clear. We can, we can do this for pretty much the front. And you can see it looks really, really nice. Cool, isn't it? And that's it, pretty much. So when we do the whole thing, yeah, that's what it looks like. Okay, now that's it from me. I hope you find that helpful. And I hope I'll be able to do more tutorials. Yeah, thanks guys.